Good morning and evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at it again with another video. My name is Digital CJ, and we're continuing on God of War. We have taken a heart from a gatekeeper's a gatekeeper. Yeah, that lock needs a gust of hell's wind to open it. And yeah, uh, shh. Ain't supposed to be here. Never it's mind. Cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you, and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. <laughs> Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. <laughs> now target that wind trap with your blades. It's a new ball. See that? Now you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damp pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Way too long. And let's get out of Hellheim. Daddies. That'll do. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence then. Hmm. I need to get the other one. Or I don't have to go that far.
There we have it. Got it. Oh, forgot about that one. Dang it. Okay, not too far.
Alright, this time. Finally. You made it. Better get home to your boy already. Don't worry, kids are tough. When I was his age, I cut my own head clean off, and I'm none the worse for wear. <laughs> Let's get back. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. There's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. You'll never be whole without the truth. Yeah. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. Oh, for the love of God. He has to know, man. Hey, you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it, then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Finally. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. I'm sure this realm also has a god of war, right? If not, oh well. I don't know Norse mythology. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. 
You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. Thanks a lot, Freya. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well... It makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Yeah. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Dang. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> He was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return, I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends.
Interesting. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. Okay. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Dang. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? <sighs> the truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? <laughs> can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. See, this is... Sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. 
That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Jerry's Ball, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Right. As I was saying before I in got interrupted, that is what character ve development is, man. A good one, at best. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Hmm. Could this be it? Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm. Swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphine. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye, the god of war. But one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful. Using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. Well, that answers my question. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tia believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tia was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tia, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Pretty strange to be called the God of War, but he's only want peace. Hmm. Strange on how things work. Where is this black room? Don't know. I've never been in here. Oh, great. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. No. I was kind of hoping, though. So what now? Well... We found some answers. For the winds of hell. Where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? 
terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's this. Now we need some... from my homeland. Used to have one of Owen back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy. Take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. <laughs> this is why no one likes you. Hmm. We need some of those uh, red crystal saps thing. Guillotine here. Well, as much as I want to continue. I have to end it here for now. If you like what you see, hit the like button. If you want more God of War, click on the subscribe and don't forget about the bell for notifications. Also, I have to thank you. My name is Digital CJ and I'll see you in the next video. I'm signing out.